Meg found this little development here. You can join the pack here, uh, whatever that means. I think it's a train station, Meg. Yeah. I'm surprised this is a passenger train here in America. That's pretty unusual. Doesn't appear to be a very popular train, but could it in fact be the light rail? I see an orca station inside here. Holy happenstance. Downtown Puyallup has an orca station? Someone. Someone left some wireless earbuds charging base right here, but the buds are missing. It smells like urine. It smells like urine in here. There's a half-eaten sandwich right here. That's disgusting. They left some other stuff with it. Here's the light rail or rail ticket orca pass machine. a map of how you get through the system there. Duplicate on this side. Check out this wide angle mirror so you can see behind you. That's me. Hi. I'm the one shooting the video. <laughs> wide angle under wide angle. Look at that. And just pull that in here like all the way. There's Meg. <coughs> Meg has a little residual dry cough from the COVID-19, if you know what I mean. You would also have. Check this out. At the ham radio swap meet, we got a high voltage ceramic insulator. It's usually used to insulate antennas in the ham radio community. Uh, but Meg just liked it, so I paid two US dollars that I found in a drawer. Now I wanna show you something really cool. So if I get right here into the tracks, you can see what's called the parallax effect. All right, so I'm gonna zoom all the way as far as I can. And then we're gonna go like this and pull out. I see Meg walking there. I'm gonna pull all the way out. Then we're gonna go around in a circle. And we're gonna pull, we're gonna pull zoom here too. And you can see the mountains, the cascades there, and a rail crossing. Hey, what's it like down there? Do you suppose it's empty because it's Saturday? Probably. That sounds like the, the planet Saturn and the god for Saturn from mythology. Saturday? Do we celebrate our weekend on Saturday because of the god of Saturn from mythology? No. No, Meg believes that's a pseudoscience and a fake religion. This is Puyallup, Washington. See where it says Puyallup here? That's a Native American word, so with English Roman letters, that's kind of strange, but that is the city. When you see here, there's a, some kind of de-icer on the ground under the seats here, and a coffee cup just laying around. If you can believe it, this is where you scan your orca pass, and these are newspaper distribution things here. And incredibly, there's actually a newspaper, the Puyallup Herald, in here, and it's totally free if you want a copy. If I uh, zoom out here, you can see that the parking lot is completely empty, like this. But look at that sky, isn't that? The sky today is kind of interesting, so I'll pan around the clouds have a very dynamic look to them. It's uh, more unusual than normal. Quite variable. So 
So yeah, the Cloudscape is it's actually stunning, I'd say. It's very beautiful. Meg has decided to end the test at the 23X. So in case you're wondering, we're near this uh, park and ride facility here. And Meg has decided to become part of the experiment on how to make a busted old Honda Civic make extra noise, which you just saw in the background. And the test ends right here. So I gotta tell you right now, it's over with, okay? The test is done. We have to stop it at once. X marks the spot. Look at this. We line it up. It's got retroflectors. Look, oh, look at those patterns there. It's like chain link fe uh, fence. It's, look at that. There, there it is. That's where the railroads cross, see? Look, the concrete has weird artwork baked right into its surface. And, um, it looks like they have stainless steel bike lockers right here in case you want to ride your bicycle to the train and um, if you want to ride your bicycle to the train you can stick your bicycle in this locker system you may notice that there's blooming flowers here daffodils, daffodils. Here's one that's opening up. There's one that's open. And there's one that's already fully open. Let's have a, a macro shot here of this guy. Get in here like this. It's open. It's, it's coming out of the closet now. Meg discovered a boondoggle. So here's a concrete uh, and gravel walking path from this building, the Pierce Conservation District, whatever that means. And it just goes to the middle of nowhere, kind of next to a train track. I'm not sure. And this gives you a scale of where we're at here. We're on West Stewart Street here. And it looks like uh, 4th Street Northwest and 5th Street Northwest, according to these street signs. This is an electric traffic control intersection. These are called robots in Africa. This big, ugly looking metal cabinet next to Meg here is where the brains for this operation are stored. Inside here, there's Allen Bradley hardware. And you can see they even have green locks like this. There's a really high end baking sheet right here Meg wants to recover. No. Cook with in her RV. We could use this as a meth drying tray after the synthesis. No? Ha ha ha. That annoying Burlington Northern Santa Fe train is honking in the background. We used to live in Renton, and this asshole that drives this train would blow the horn at 3 a.m. and wake both my wife and I up. Yeah, thanks, Burlington. Well, at any rate, check out this mechanical clock movement here. It's actually ticking. So if you look up at the top, it doesn't appear to be moving, which is even more perplexing. I'm not sure, so... The pendulum does tick, though. Meg's so amused with the sound that she's plugged her ears. 